This is another recent scientific uh, article that came out in the mainstream media. We know from Henry Deacon's testimony that many of the extraterrestrial humans have the blonde hair, blue-eyed look. So the white skin and blue eyes is alien DNA. But I asked Pete Peterson about these 15% of people that have extraterrestrial DNA. And he told me that they are in every race. In the Edgar Cayce readings, he talked about his Atlantean incarnation. His name in that life was Rata. He also said that Rata's mother had sex with an alien. And Rata was the first white man ever born on Earth. So that means I'm your daddy. <laughs> das heißt, ich bin euer Vater. <laughs> This secret tradition from Atlantis became co-opted by many societies, including the Masons. If you look at the letters, you see the word Mason. M-A-S-O-N. The capstone coming back on the pyramid is very symbolic. Without the capstone, the pyramid has six sides. The number six means imperfection. Without the capstone, the pyramid has eight corners. The number eight means reincarnation and rebirth. The symbolism of this part of the pyramid is that we live in an imperfect world where we must keep reincarnating. When the capstone comes back down, how many corners do you have? Do you still have eight corners? You have five. No. How many sides do you have? You have five. Five is the number of perfection and divine initiation. The pyramid was also built with sockets for where the true widths of the pyramid would be. These sockets tell us that the pyramid is built to be incomplete as it is now. So this is the symbol of perfection, the all-seeing eye, which is the consciousness of the universe. The problem is that this ancient knowledge became corrupted, and what they desire is a new world order. But this all comes from an Atlantean prophecy, and this is a symbol of the change we are now experiencing on Earth. There is a movie coming out about 2012 in November, and they created this fake website. It has now been exposed that this is all an attempt to cash in on fear. Many movies use the idea that there is going to be a big disaster in our near future. And this point is repeated so many times that we begin believing it. Apparently the Dutch are preparing for apocalypse. <laughs> so again, if 2012 doesn't mean anything, then there shouldn't be any way to prove that something is changing. But there is a way to prove it. The reason why I use this picture is it shows how the earth changes bring us together. A wild koala is actually very dangerous. <laughs> they have sharp claws and they will attack viciously. They also have sharp teeth to eat through those eucalyptus leaves. If you come near them, they will scratch and bite if they're wild. We don't know anybody like that who's a person. So this was after the big fire in Australia. And what it shows us is how disasters bring us closer together. This is part of how the universe works. Evil is allowed to exist because it inspires movement and growth by invading our free will. A fire is not necessarily conscious, but there are people who consciously invade free will. This does not mean that they are free from karma, though they often compare themselves to a natural force like fire. You could not say that a fire is guilty of anything, and they believe that they are also not guilty of anything. But when you are a human being, it's different. You are not simply a natural force like thunder and lightning. You are responsible for what you do to others. The universe allows the Illuminati to exist, but they are still responsible for what they create. In the solar system, we are seeing all the planets changing like the Earth. And this is NASA's hottest secret. What we're also seeing is that in the fossil record, new species show up every 26 million years. This is very significant because it means that evolution is continuing to happen. But it does not happen at an even rate. This represents all the new species appearing on Earth. And you notice the spikes. 
Some scientists explain this as being caused by what they think of as a planet. The problem is that now we've found another cycle. This cycle lasts 62 million years long. It goes back to the beginning of all life on Earth, 542 million years ago. The only thing that can explain this is galactic energy fields, which is reprogramming the DNA of every organism on this planet. This is the design that everything is programmed to become. We are on a program. How many people think this is the end of the program, what you see right now? So everything that is happening to us is part of this change. And I can demonstrate that the interplanetary climate change is going to be affecting our DNA directly. All of the keys to this science are in the ancient past. When you look to the pyramids, you find a technology. It is a technology that harnesses an energy field. There is a reason why the pyramids are built out of stone. You need a solid natural material to harness these fields. The pyramid shape acts as a funnel for this energy. We also know that there are indeed ruins from Atlantis that have not yet been openly acknowledged. This was announced right after September 11, 2001. This was discovered by two scientists named Paul Weinzweig and Paulina Zelitsky. This is the first picture they saw that showed them what was obviously not just the bottom of the ocean. This has all been three-dimensionally modeled in a computer. Would you like to see what it looks like? These are the ruins of ancient buildings from Atlantis. It's almost a mile below sea level. Actually, I think it's about a half a mile, but it's still deep. Paulina went to the mainland of Cuba and found inscriptions in caves very similar to what they saw on these buildings. This is a photograph of, of her near these inscriptions on the land of Cuba. Wow. What they are drawing here is energy fields. This is the solar system, and this is a drawing of the energy fields of the planets. They sent submarines down there and found inscriptions just like this many crosses and many of these circles. They also found buildings down there that were perfect pyramids. They found sphinxes. They also found things just like Stonehenge. This is the closest that she's ever come to revealing pictures of the pyramids to the public. You notice that the slope angle changes near the top. This was taken by a submarine that she sent in that was remote controlled. There are many, many more things that she filmed that have not been made public. They actually found a written language on the stones down there. And this pyramid looks very similar to one in Egypt. This is called the Bent Pyramid of Dashur. Now, why hasn't this information been revealed? This part of Cuba could not have been above sea level before 10,000 years, earlier than 10,000, later than 10,000 years ago. <laughs> so again, this symbol represents strong hidden knowledge that has been kept from humanity. A woman from the military told me about these Atlantean ruins. She met a very drunk Navy SEAL at Guantanamo Bay. They were having barbecue hot dogs. And he said, you know, we found Atlantis down there. And he said, hey, we have Atlantis found. <laughs> <laughs> he said that they have been taking out artifacts every day since the 1960s and that there are machines down there that still work we have heard from Henry Deacon that entire uh, truckloads of artifacts are just destroyed mm. they have so much stuff that they don't even bother to look at if it's not destroyed, then it just gets thrown into a warehouse somewhere and forgotten. The U.S. government discovered this allegedly during the Cuban Missile Crisis. You have the nuclear submarine going under the ground, under the water, and you would notice if you started to go past a bunch of pyramids. This was when they began taking away all the artifacts. They did not want the Russians to get control of this technology. So this is how many things are justified. Paulina Zaliski signed a deal with National Geographic. 